Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. If you're new here, thank you for coming to hang out. Tonight is the second installment of the 2021 Nail Trends uh, series that I'm working on. Tonight's trend is going to be the squiggle nail. It's not uh, it's not the shape of your nail being squiggly or anything because who could handle that? Not me. Uh, it is nail art that is squiggly and I'm seeing a whole heck of a lot of more abstract, less symmetrical type of nail art and I'm living for it because you don't have to be super precise. You kind of just let your imagination run away with you and do whatever you want. Uh, this particular one, Usually you see them in ovals, but I think I might take it in a uh, kind of a different direction on one or two nails just to keep things a little bit interesting. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it with a stamping polish and uh, just an art brush, like a, a nail art brush. And I'm also going to show you how to do it with these markers. Uh, they're kind of markers. They are um, acrylic paint pens. They are fine tip pens with acrylic paint in them, and they make doing nail art so so simple especially on top of dip nails uh, because they really really cling to the dip and um, if you're using like a, a gel base they can tend to slip around on that surface a little bit but if you just have a dip nail and you haven't super super buffed like you can buff a little bit so it's not bumpy but if you haven't buffed it super smooth yet uh, really really easy to get these working on your dip nails and then uh, base will not smudge them so you can put a base coat and a dip of clear over top of your finished art to preserve it and lock it in. Um, so yeah not a whole lot more to say. Um, I am going to ask again though if you are not subscribed to please do so. I'm really really trying to get to that 1000 subscriber mark so that I can do the big giveaway and I was looking at the analytics on my channel and it looks like 89% of the people that are viewing my videos are not subscribed. So if you could take two seconds hit the subscribe button very very much appreciated thank you so much I'm gonna get a base color down on these nails and I will flip down and show you the two different ways to do this squiggle nail trend that I've been seeing everywhere I'll see you later guys bye hey guys okay so I've got uh, two of my nails done already I used the um, acrylic marker acrylic paint acrylic paint marker for this pink one uh, and then I use stamping polish for this. So this is like the squiggle line. This one I did pretty simply. It was the first one that I did, so it's not all that interesting. Uh, this one got a little bit fancier with, and I don't know if I like it. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you to do the stamping polish version with just a black polish. And I'm gonna show you the more like oval sort of shape that I've been seeing and that's this is the one that I've been seeing a lot of but I wanted to try this kind of way as well um, so I just have a very fine detail brush it's just an art brush um, you can clean it with nail polish remover just don't get your polish remover especially if it contains acetone uh, I mean it's not gonna ruin it but it's gonna take the paint off your paintbrush so if you care about the look of your paintbrush don't do that uh, and I just have like a jar of my clear that I use as a paint palette Obviously I used it last night and didn't clean it up when I was practicing for this. So I just put a glob on there. This is, what is this? This is just a UR Sugar brand. I don't know, it's like eBay stamping polish because we can't really get any other kind of polish in Canada for stamping. Now that Maniology can't send liquids to Canada, which stinks. Anyways, okay. So I just coat it well, but make sure it's not too coated because you don't want to start off with a glob. Um, and which nail am I doing? Okay. Can I zoom in any further? Nope, that'll do it. I can't zoom in any further. Okay. I swear one day I'll get a proper camera for this. Maybe. All right. And like I said, this is more of an abstract type of nail art. So you can kind of just do whatever you want. There's no real screw ups. Um, and if you think you've screwed up, nobody's going to know because I don't know what you were thinking of doing in your head. And also, uh, you can just fix it. And the good thing about using stamping polish on top of dip is if you really, really mess something up and you hate it, you can use a non-acetone nail polish remover to take it off because non-acetone nail polish remover won't do anything to your dip at all. Uh, but it'll let you start again. 
Fun fact, I don't have non-acetone nail polish remover, so here's hoping I don't really mess this up. And I think this actually, this like oval type shape looks a little bit nicer on like an almond nail, not really a coffin shape that I've got going on here, but we'll make it work. So, um... I have a new collection that is going to be dropping, I th think, well, it's going to be dropping as soon as any of my ambassadors get a hold of it, and I never really know when that's going to be now because of what's happening with the post offices, post, post offices, post offices, everywhere, nobody, like, nobody really knows uh, how quickly to expect things. I've tried to mail them like priority so that they get there faster, but again, they, like there's no guarantees on, on anything that you send right now. So uh, as soon as at least two of them get a hold of them and are able to do um, a Manny to show you, I am going to drop it because I'm super excited about it. I've been thinking about it for a long time and I finally had the time to uh, sit down and get the colors together and I love them. Um, and I can't wait to share them with you. Anyways, so that is my stamping polish squiggle nail that I said was going to be an oval type shape, but it's not. I don't have oval type nails, so this is this is what it ended up looking like. And I think it's starting to kind of come together and look cool as a full manicure like this. Um, and with the stamping polish, after this has thoroughly dried, and it is a regular nail polish, so you have to give it time, um, you can then put a base coat, like your, just your regular base on it it won't smudge it and then encapsulate with a clear layer of dip and that's what I will do that's what I have done with these guys uh, and now I'm going to show you these art pens because they're honestly the coolest like if you are at all artistic and you can draw well I definitely recommend picking up a set or two of these because you uh, like the amount of, of art and things that you can do on your nails when you have these it's limitless you can kind of pull anything off if you're like artsy fartsy. I'm not overly artsy when it comes to drawing and stuff like that, but these get me by when I'm doing abstract type art stuff. Uh, you do have to prime these pens, of course, because it is actual paint coming out. Um, but yeah, once they're primed up and you've shaken them a couple times, they're amazing. So for this one, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I, I might, I'm not gonna do that overly type thing again. I might do, I saw somebody that did like a, across and then they used another color and kind of swirled into it. I might actually try to do that with this blue and a white. We'll see. Is this one primed up? No. So I'm gonna prime it. Uh, right, okay, so the new collection. Uh, the theme of the collection is silent film. And uh, it is five dips again and it, they will be available separately as well as the full collection with a like slight discount if you buy the full collection because it makes my life easier to package up a full collection than it is to pick individual dips. Um, you can hear my children, or at least one of them screaming for daddy upstairs. Oh my goodness, this one's taking a while. Okay, uh, what else did I want to say? Oh, sub bags. Sign up start again on the 15th. They are open until the 20th or until they're, the spots are all filled. Again, I have like a ton of spots. I'm not one of those shops that's like a sellout immediately shop, which, uh, you know, good for the, the ones that are, that's amazing, uh, but I'm not. So don't, don't like, you know, set a, a crazy alarm or you know, like leave a meeting or something that you're in, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, I have a lot of spots open, so not a big deal. Um, I'm also thinking about opening up a separate tier, at least one one more tier. And I'm thinking about adding a tier that is just a step above the ultimate. And I know that seems like I'm, I'm kind of hesitant on it, so let me know what you think in the comments. I'm hesitant because it will be a little bit spendy. Um, I don't know what everybody's dip budget is like. 
but I wanted to include one that will cycle through the hand mask, the soak it away um, bath salts, the hand scrub, and then also a set of dip liquids, just a complete set, uh, every fourth month. Because I think people who do their nails regularly and aren't doing them uh, the crazy amount that I am, usually typically will go through a set of liquids every four months. Or at least it's nice to have a fresh set that often in case you've contaminated or whatever the case is. Okay, I'm gonna shut up for a second and concentrate. Um, yeah, so it was kind of like a wavy, really cool wavy pattern from side to side and it was like more organic. It wasn't like sharp curves. And then I'm gonna grab the white while well, this is still wet and kind of hope that it sort of blends it a little bit, but this white marker is kind of giving me trouble. Okay. Um, yeah, so it will be a step above the ultimate. I haven't worked at the numbers yet because I don't know if anybody would be interested. So definitely let me know if you are. Um, and then you kind of don't have to, like you never have to think about like, oh, I'm running out of liquids and you know, whatever the case is. I think it would be handy. I feel like I would find it handy uh, if, you know, on the on the customer side. Um, it would have been nice to not have to, you know, monitor my liquid levels constantly and think, oh, I have to order it now if I want it to get here on time and blah, blah, blah. It would just, it would have solved a, a, a few headaches for me on the customer side. Um, so let me know what you guys think of that. And then I'm also thinking once, and it, like it's not gonna happen this month, but once I have my subs like down to an art and it's not not a thing that I have to, to second guess ever, um, I might add a, a like a mid-range tier where it's just the dips and maybe like, I don't know, like just all, all dips, not, um, not anything uh, body care related or like a miniature version of it. Um, I might do just the dips and like a file because you know you can always you can always use a new file because they always go dull on you or whatever um, but that one's not going to be coming this time if I get positive feedback on this um, step above the ultimate I might add it for this release but I'm not positive anyways uh, moving right along I kind of love this so I'm gonna do a little I'm gonna do a little 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 guy down here once I prime this up again. There we go. Okay. This is more like a summer. But, since we don't go anywhere and don't see anybody, we can do whatever I want. Can't tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think of the different levels of sub. Um, I don't know like I said how fast it's all gonna happen if it is all gonna happen right away it depends on what you guys want I, I'm not gonna put something out there that you know nobody wants so that you know people feel pressure that they're missing out on something like no I just I want to give you guys what you want um, and that's that's the whole point of this the whole point of this venture is to bring the people what they want so, okay, um, you know what? I need to stop messing with this before I really, really screw it up. So one last little, okay, I'm done. Less is more, Tina. I, I always take it a step too far and regret it. All right, so that is the um, acrylic paint pen method. And I kind of love this a lot and I wish I had done this on other nails. I'm not gonna do anything on my thumb because I always end up just like I love something that I've done for a very, very short amount of time and then I pop them off. Um, so this was the uh, paint marker. These two are stamping polish and you just saw me do this with the paint marker. This as well, once it is fully dried and the paint does take a little bit more time I find than the stamping polish, you can again go over it with base. It won't smudge it. Encapsulate with a clear dip and finish it off like usual. Uh, and I should say that uh, the base color I have on my nails, I haven't done anything with this hand, is Senna. It is one of my nudes. It is a yellow based nude and it works very well for somebody who has a drywall complexion, much as myself. 
Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do all the, you know, clear coating and filing and buffing. I am going to cut this one off here. It's actually a short one for once. And um, I will put a few finished photos of this swirly technique. Maybe I will put something on my thumb just for, just for pictures. And I'll throw it up at the end. Definitely let me know what you guys think of the sub bag options in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the silent film collection that's coming. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for this nail trend. I will see you guys in a, a week, maybe two, probably two, um, for the next one that I have on my mind. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I will talk to you later. Bye.